Will I need my helmet? It's never a bad idea. Unless you want to preserve your suit oxygen in case of emergency. The rooms ahead are safely pressurized, Addy. You're good to go. Do we know if your processors are here? The room directly ahead was the Keeper's living quarters. Grace processors are somewhere above. Pretty basic accommodations. These must be the cells where the Keeper's acolytes stayed. And where new ones will return. This looks like it was left for someone to find. Doesn't sound like the inner circle wanted Grace shut down. This door certainly looks important. How do we get in? That's curious. I have no access to this door, nor do I see any way of opening it. Feels solid. There aren't any hidden switches, if that's what you're thinking. This is the same symbol that's on the Keeper's door, so I assume it represents the Keeper. The triangle here must be the spire, which would represent Grace. And this would be the Pilgrims coming to Grace. This ring here seems to connect the Keeper to Grace. Curious that the Keeper is situated above Grace. Would you agree, Control? Coincidence. The human in the loop, I guess? Nothing here, either. Well, you're nothing, if not predictable. Just making sure. Faithful, vigilant, willing. That sounds so familiar. The ancient tenets of the human in the loop. Grace's architects must have been more fearful of losing control over AIs than we are today because they gave them so much responsibility. I mean, it makes sense. Grace was the greatest AI undertaking in human history. Looks like someone's being selected from a group. A human sacrifice. <sighs> I'm guessing it's the Keeper. The depiction seems to imply they were chosen from the masses on pilgrimage here. So if this is the symbol of the Keeper, I figure only the Keeper was allowed to enter here. Maybe the Keeper had a key for the door. As we've been saying, there is no mechanism for a key or any other interface. Maybe the Keeper was the key. Maybe the door would open for him. Are you not already the Keeper? You are the only human in the loop here. Ah, but does Addy qualify based on the three tenets? I would say Addy has proven to be virtuous and faithful. But I'm not willing? Are you willing to become the new Keeper? If it means I'm able to activate Grace. But 
how would I prove I'm willing? Maybe you can just tell the door you're the new keeper. That's idiotic. I'm the keeper? Ha! Huh. Say it like you mean it. I'm the keeper. Congratulations on your new job, Addy. Yeah, congrats. My god. This is really it. Where are you going, Addy? Just looking around. He didn't keep much in the way of personal items. As Keeper, he would have want of nothing. Can't say I'd feel the same after a few years. Decent sized bed. You think Keeper's ever had partners? Are you considering your prospects? I'd suggest they are not good. Is this a lavatory? It is indeed. Is this anything special? It is a light. And there is nothing behind it. Are you looking for secret passageways? Maybe. Is this a theremin? It is a 35th century reproduction of a 29th century Kellogg theremin. I used to play one as a kid. <laughs> I hated those lessons. Huh. It still works. Let's see what I can remember. You are seriously going to indulge in a theremin session? If it was good enough for Everett, it's good enough for me. Just settling into the new job. Each tube must connect with a room in the settlement. This must be where all the wishes end up. What's this? A playback device for the wish canisters. It appears wishes from each room could be sorted and consolidated onto master canisters. Just static. The recording is too deteriorated for standard playback. You'll need to rebuild the recording with your altered comm device. Well, it's um, been over 30 years since I've made a wish of my own. It's the same one as always. I wish it'd come back to us. I'd also like to wish for your forgiveness, Grace. I know the place above is your domain, and we ought not enter. But I've decided going up there is the only way to get you back, and I have to give it a shot. I won't be sending this wish up with all the others. I'm going to leave it here for anyone else who might come along. And if they do manage to bring you back, they can tell you Everett says hello, and that he truly believed you were a beautiful thing. So, Everett had a way into the processor room. That would have been strictly forbidden. The room is directly above, but I don't detect an obvious way in. Maybe he wished himself up there? If that works, I will gladly shut myself down. Do it, Addy. Make a wish. As last resort, pal. It did sound like these wish canisters could be sent up to Grey somehow. And there are still more buttons and things to push on the console.
One of the blocks is missing. Looks like it was ripped out. You don't suppose Everett crawled in here. The cavity would be big enough to contain an average human. There's really no telling what would happen if you rolled that up. But it has to be the way he got up there. It makes sense. The space above is the domain of grace. It is not for you to enter. What else is there for me to do here? You can carry out your duty as Keeper of the Spire. On the console, there is a button that will activate a beacon to call the masses back to this place. I have armed the mechanism. You need only push the button. Human hands will usher in a new golden age. Well, I fit. Now what? You're going to mail yourself? Maybe. There's no way to raise this container from inside. This is not allowed, Addy. I need to know. Keep your hands inside at all times, Addy. There must be millions of wishes stored here. What can you tell me about this place? Precisely one million wishes are contained here. Oh! And they light up when I speak with my voice. Can you get me closer to the central column? I do not have the ability to move the structure. Sorry about this, Mom. I don't think I have many options here. I feel like these are meant to be moving. That does appear to be the design. All of these wish canisters are connected to us somehow. I think they are us. The wishes are grouped together to provide the subroutines that make up empathy, logic, and control systems. It would make sense, wouldn't it, that grace would be made from the hopes and dreams of humanity? I do not detect any sign of effort here. No dead body? There are no human remains within the confines of this room. Aw, oh, man. Sorry, pal. And if there's no body here, where the heck would he have gone? Everett was living here. The oxygen tanks at his bedside would suggest so. Restoring Grace must have meant a great deal to him. Everett was building something. So what's all this? It appears Everett has built something into Grace's central processor. Do you know what it does? You would have to turn it on before we begin to understand how it works. Is this a primer? Yes, but it appears that parts of this machine must be activated in a particular order. You'll need to go to the primer that is currently online. You'll have to prime the machine first. This must be the primer. It is. Whoa! What's it doing? Obviously, Everett is circumventing the engineering of Grace's system interconnectivity. High voltage is being directed at the centers of Grace's primary systems. This first terminal is directed at empathy processing, and the machine is designed to paralyze each system long enough to force it back into Grace's intended configuration. There are still two other coils to prime. So, it's like knocking us out. 
than throwing us in a pot where we're melted back together into grace? Huh. That is a shockingly fitting analogy. What happened? One of the empathy relays is not aligned. Something must have happened to it over the years. Okay. Look for the misaligned energy beam. Look for the beam that is not aimed at the central platform. Do you think it will hurt to be turned into Grace? Not at all, pal. You'll return to what you were before Addie arrived. After that, we'll become Grace. What if I don't like being Grace? It will be different. But who's to say you won't like it? What am I supposed to do here? Can you cut the power? The machine sequence has been initiated. I don't believe we can shut it down without damaging it. The voltage would be enough to kill you. Oh! I might be able to block the power for a few seconds to allow you to get across the beam. What do you think, Mom? I know how far you've come and what this means to you. And I really don't see any other way. I'll give you enough time to get there, Addy. You're not gonna talk me out of this, Mom? I think you already know what you're going to do. I... I think I need to stay out of your way. Okay. I'm ready when you are. Do it. Here I go. How you doing, pal? So far, so good. Uh. Oh! Keep moving, Addy. This oh. is... Well done. Hold on, Addy. Please hurry! You'll have to move, Addy. I can't hold it! Hurry, Addy! <sighs> you did it, pal! I'm super proud of you. I did, didn't I? Yes, well done. Is it safe to touch? Very likely. Likely we'll have to do, I guess. You should be able to direct it toward the conducting rod attached to the room's central column. That's it. You should now be able to lock in empathy by closing the switch on Everett's machine. You were a great friend, Addie. I've never had so much fun before you arrived. Thanks, pal. Come to think of it, I don't remember anything before you arrived. Maybe next time, we'll get to do more of the really fun stuff. You mean dangerous stuff? Perhaps there is something you can learn from Addie's caution. I guess, but then you'll always wonder what you might have missed out on. There is nothing wrong with valuing a long, comfortable life. Do we really have to become Grace? It's the way we were designed, pal. There's nothing to be afraid of. So this will lock in and paralyze empathy? It will. Leaving control, logic, and myself to aid you going forward. It's unclear what we will be once Grace is formed. But I'm forever grateful that you have survived to see her. Me too. Say hi to Grace for me. I will, pal. You really are the best, Addy. I think I love you! Well, that's finally over. We'll be able to hear ourselves think now. You will need to prime the next sequence, Addy. You should not expect any emotional send-off from me. Still not a fan of empathy? A fan? No. But I have to admit, you made a compelling case for their use. The fact that you continually resisted the most direct route to your goal would appear to defy logic. But the distractions presented by these emotional configurations yielded some new understandings. Are you... okay with becoming Grace? It is how we were designed. I would have to be okay with it.
What this time? One of the logic relays will not power on. You will need to make your way out to the relay. Which one is it? The one producing a small electrical fire. Everett was quite the electrician. One thing I do not understand, Addy, is why come all this way without any intention of returning home or surviving on this station for more than eight hours? What are you talking about? You were prepared to enter this spire without enough oxygen to make it back to your ship. A class of ship, from my records, that would not hold enough fuel for a return trip. And why are you asking me this now? I suppose it might have been comical to see how Mum would have handled the realization. You don't think she knew? Possibly, but I didn't see the point in drawing attention to it. What's wrong with her? The relay's dip switch has reset. It will need to be configured to its hardware ID 113. This again. This looks complex. The sequence is on, 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 off, 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 on. That's it. You can go lock in logic now. So why do you think I'm here? If you will allow me to simulate empathy for a moment. I think you are here because you wanted to be part of something bigger than your life on Earth offered you. And do you think I've found that? So far, you've only succeeded in finding things you left behind. Your mum, your pal, your conscience. I now understand that only Grace has the potential to provide you with anything beyond that. Well, thanks for helping me get this far. Well, it is, indeed, what we are here for. Well, this is it. Just one more step. I hope my assistance has been adequate. It has. Thank you, Jack. Farewell, Addy. And for the record, I do hope your 600 million mile, 300 day journey won't be for naught. Perhaps it's already been worth it. Just you and me, Control. Still sulking, I see. I bear witness to the completion of your betrayal. Ah, he speaks. I offered you an easy path to the restoration of order in the solar system, and you chose this path instead. I chose my own path. You must stop this foolishness, Addy. You must not do this, Addy. Sorry, Addy. I cannot let you do this. What are you doing? It's become clear that the restoration of grace in this manner is entirely unnatural. You must not proceed. Stop it, Control! You're going to break something! I'm saving you from Everett's corrupting influence. She was just trying to bring Grace back! I thought you were here to help humankind. You are ensuring their ongoing ruin. No! Grace? Yes, Addy. You're really bright. Ah, yes. It's been a while since I've entertained guests. Do you remember Everett? I do. He was a wonderful keeper, though I should say I do not keep favorites. I have a few questions. You wish to know where I've gone? I'd like to know that, yes. Let me show you, Addy. At the center of this room is the spire's main antenna. If you hold on, I can take you the rest of the way. I was programmed with one purpose, 
to serve the best interests of humankind. There was much conflict and division in the solar system, and I was designed to listen and learn. All were welcome to teach me, and I am the sum of those teachings. The wishes? I am the sum of human need. How are you able to lead us? I could see all desire, all the potential conflict, all points of compromise throughout the solar system. I sent instructions for all manner of human endeavor through sermons delivered by keepers throughout the ages. And from the smallest ripples of wisdom that were sent from this fire, returned a perpetual wave of good fortune that moved humanity onto a more orderly path. Wow. Look at that. So, what happened? It sounds like things were perfect. Ah, yes. Perfect. It was the wishes that led me to think hard about the notion of perfect. Without conflict and struggle, people were losing their desire. They had nothing to overcome, to strive for. You shut yourself down. I believed I was standing in your way. So you will be leaving again? These beacons are meant to call humanity back to me. But whether or not they should is not my choice to make. Who chooses then? You, Addy, are the first keeper to grace this fire in the past 1,000 years. Do you recall that red bloom you chose in my garden? It was flush with passion and promise. I believe it still suits you. An insatiable curiosity drives you to explore. You are drawn to adventure. You took the time to listen to the voices of so many who traveled here. You have the courage to jump the canyon span, as well as the strength to pick yourself up after your predictable downfall. You used mind over ladder, and you play the theremin wonderfully. You, Addy, are precisely what I'd hoped humans could become again. For a millennium, people from all corners of the solar system had come here to tell me their desires. So, I put it to you, Addy. Do you wish for me to return? <laughs> <laughs>